so the question is that how can a mechanical engineer graduate get into ICT information and communication technology in New Zealand so now let me read the question to you the question is that hello I am Jojo Vargas mechanical graduate I would like to do a level 7 course in information technology and communication in New Zealand because I heard it's better to go for ICT than management study in which ICT has better job opportunities. I have got no basic for programming. Does ICT has programming? Can you also suggest me another course? So he's saying that he want to do level 7. If you don't know level 7 is the final year or a third year or a bachelor degree or it can be a stand alone diploma in New Zealand. So the first thing I can say you is that most of the level 7 diploma do not have any programming. It's much better you learn programming by yourself just by this I mean head first programming books this kind of head first programming books will make you head first to be honest with you it will help you a lot learn by your own in today if you want to learn programming you want to learn from a diploma you want to learn from full time school you want to go to university to learn programming are you kidding with me if not then I will say you must try to find a way to get into a mental hospital to be honest with you a psychiatric hospital to be honest with you to be honest with you i will say ICT have good career in New Zealand but the number one thing you need to remember on New Zealand New Zealand do not have a huge population New Zealand do not have a huge GDP i getting into New Zealand is freaking easy compared to Australia and Canada and the rest of the first white country we can say I can say it in that way but the problem is that New Zealand population is only around 4 million day GDP is I mean very freaking small and then everything is very freaking expensive there New Zealand people always go for the cheap stuff so the you need to remember that I mean the programming is where you can get a job in New Zealand New Zealand Kiwi people can hate your passion but you are in demand programming is in demand the ICT I mean is dying very badly and then what's with the mechanical I mean a lot of mechanical engineers I mean are, are emailing me to be honest with you if any one of you are listening with me please do not get a mechanical engineer degree this is one more point a lot of mechanical engineer are trying to get into information technology to ICT which is not their field I mean mechanical engineering 100 before I mean 100 years ago mechanical engineer was a really very elegant profession but in 2015 stay away from mechanical engineers much better get into electronic or even electrical so my only reply to your question will be that I mean try to get into programming try to join a diploma in ICT because I mean if you don't know New Zealand economic um, the major portion of the GDP run on the international student so even you have your degree or diploma in mechanical they will still put you in a software engineering level 7 diploma if you can pay for it simple as that I'm to be honest with you they really don't give you a shit if you can pay it yeah I will say just get into the programming if you still say no 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 Jimmy I want to get into ICT ICT is not the same way which I mean 2015 information technology rapidly changing if you don't know New Zealand is over 10 and 20 years behind the rest of the world even behind Africa in some ways I mean, if you talk about technology I will say get into network engineering I mean before going to New Zealand get your MCSE I will say system administrator even that have like 10 year lifespan what I can see on the horizon I mean after 10 years that will I mean fully turn into programming yeah that is my advice I will say personal advice go for software but the ICT so diploma in New Zealand do not teach a software try to get new level 7 diploma with specialization on software because most of the 99% of the ICT normal diploma do not teach you you need to look for a specific I mean keyword in the diploma whether it's a computing with networking or software or you need to look for the key phrase I mean software testing software engineering developing if you just look for a normal level 7 diploma in information technology or information communication technology no way they will just include like management theoretical stuff in it 
so yeah that was a quick i mean answer to your question if you have any more question why not email me at jimmy at geek at gmail.com if you like this video click the like button if you hate it definitely you hate me you really hate me where should i go click the dislike button it's me jimmy again bye